This is London with Bitcoin Spike and VIP Trader bringing you the best in terms of Bitcoin analysis. Let's look at a pattern, the bump and run. I want to invite you also to take a look at our crown jewel, Southern California. This would be our headquarters. This is where we're at. We're excited to be here in 2023. We told you we were building. We're going to take the market by storm. Beautiful, guys. Complex VIP HQ in the house. Let's take a look at the specific patterns. Now, on the rising wedge versus the ascending triangle, on the uh, specific, I've got the eight hourly versus the four hourly. Very important to discuss the details here. Very important as well. We have a specific pattern in play. You don't want to miss the bump and run. Reversal on the daily has huge implications. Please listen to me. Huge implications. You need to be well informed of the probabilities. I also want to invite you to take a look at the link in the description so that you can review our indicator suite. Yes, the only indicator that caught the bottom of Bitcoin. Yes, that caught the bottom of Bitcoin. Boom. Do you see the hit? That would be the specific indicator that I specifically programmed to catch the bottom and boom. Yes, our fire and ice indicator. Let's dig back into the charts real quickly. Now, in terms of the details, looking at the rising wedge, this is a feature on the eight hourly. What does it coincide with on the eight hourly? Please pay attention. What do we coincide with on that rising wedge on the eight hourly? Let's dig into the details. And on the eight hourly, you will see a very nice confluence with this level of resistance from the bump and run reversal, from the bump and run reverse, uh, reversal, you all have that right. Uh, what we're looking at is that the current price action is diving into, let me make sure this is a little bit bolder so that you can see it, but is diving into the specific level of resistance on that bump and run pattern. Now, there are completion Scenarios, please pay attention, and probabilities. Scenarios, probabilities, throwbacks, etc. But please listen to this portion. In terms of what the bump and run presents, all of you, please pay attention to this specific portion. Uh, the VIP already have in the back a nice probability sheet, okay, where we go through the specific probabilities of what. Let's dig into it. Why would we pay attention to, for instance, Bulkowski? And shout out to... Bokowski, hope you're doing well. I uh, appreciate all of the uh, information. Nice to correspond with you, sir. And in terms of the extensions, let's look at the scenarios, the probabilities, the low to the high, measure to the point of breakout to the low. This is good stuff, guys. Very, very good stuff. Looking at a completion scenario, which would require a break out now we are technically in a bearish breakout i will remind everyone at this specific point that we have cpi tomorrow anything could happen be prepared for the volatility if you can hedge it we can if you can hedge it i encourage you to get after it with all the sophisticated pro tools that you will go seek a financial advisor whatever you need but if you're hedging on your own you could probably teach uh, your financial advisor a thing or two let's look at the specifics CPI could do one of two things, in my opinion, maybe three, but let's say a breakout, boom. What's the first real level of concern? 38,485, measuring from the low to the high. You got it from the low to the high, and we want to see from the point of breakout that 23.6 is important. The key focal is 47,000. 911 ultimately on this pattern there is a percentage probability in line with the completion up to a 50 percent target level percentage reaching half height of the target here we go 32 percent in a bear market 57 percent in a bull market so to the extent that we are looking at a bear market completion we're looking at a 32 percent probability hello of getting to the 47,911, if we can give the shift credit in the markets right now, and Bitcoin, that leadership, uh, just the power that it needs, guys, that power that it needs. We're looking at a 57% probability of reaching what again? Let's look. Let's look here, guys. This is London, former hedge fund owner, private non-SEC, not financial advice, Duke University, Harvard Business School. You guys got the details. Now look at the 47,911. So between 32% and 57% exactly, based upon four plus decades of information. This has a likelihood to push a lot of your investments around in crypto, et cetera, guys. Looking at your alts, 
uh, we're going to look at Bitcoin. So the the ideal would be the sixty five thousand seven hundred and sixty four. That sixty five thousand seven hundred and sixty four would be the one hundred percent completion. That would be a repeat of full height pattern completion. Boom to the upside. Understand the mechanisms in play. Understand that this is a bump and run reversal. These patterns can be extremely strong. We in VIP, we trade them all the time. We trade these all the time, just so that you know that. If you're not plugged into technicals at this level, I encourage you to get Bolkowski technical analysis. Or what is it? Technical analysis. Uh, we want that from Murphy, New York Institute of Finance. Murphy technical analysis of the financial markets. And we want you to get Volkowski Encyclopedia of Chart Patterns, okay? Absolutely. Now, let's dig into what I have here. That rising wedge, typically bearish feature, competing with what we caught in the back today, a specific ascending triangulation. Boom, to the upside. That was a beautiful move. Nice, uh, nice catch on our indicators as well. And I'll just tell you guys right now, between you and me and VIP, let's discuss the following. Our indicators are working very well like very, very well. I'm excited about that. I have worked on them to create them for our VIP. Understand the following. I don't want to necessarily just run off to guys. I don't want it to just run off to the masses and, and start to deplete the, the alpha in the equation for our indicators. The alpha is the percentage by which we beat the market. I don't want to create a scenario whereby we are uh, depleting the advantage in the market with crowded trades, alpha decay, you guys got that reflexivity right on. So right now, enjoy that prime action you're getting with the VIP indicators. Capiche? Yeah, enjoy that. It's our group. We're number one in the markets. We're excited about that. Uh, let's talk about uh, CPI incoming. Let's, let, let's I digress. But in terms of the specifics, we have, let's go to that four hourly. This beautiful, beautiful, you know, this, this run to the upside that we've had has been uh, has been nice. I'll tell you, never overexpose at any higher price. You guys know that. Uh, never overexpose. Compounding down at lower levels, not as things go higher. Compounding down at lower levels is our MO. That's how we got here. We're excited about that. Uh, 2023 will take the market by storm. You guys know that. In terms of flat top resistance, we turn to flat top resistance as being contemplated right now with the volatility incoming with the CPI. We would. Definitely expect orders to be solidly, solidly, solidly filling this level with the potential for an absolute slingshot. Boom, to the upside. Pay attention to not get caught up in this zone post breakout. This 23.6 completion to the upside that 38,485 would present us with the opportunity. Let's just put this in terms of, guys, I mean, a 27%, a 27% move to the upside. And I will close this out as you understand the technical parameters, et cetera. I'll close this out with the following. Do you understand that every $10,000, $10,000 future position, okay, is worth nearly $1 million right now in the market from the low to the high, every $10,000 futures position at 100 X, yes, is worth Nearly $1 million. You're aware of that. Do you know how futures operate? We would like to be a part of the solution if you've done at least the recommending some New York level materials, New York Institute of Finance materials. Uh, consider, first of all, if you don't know how $10,000 could turn into a million dollars, I want to shout out to all the VIP. Special shout out to Venus, who's been trading. Way to trade, Venus. I get to mention that tonight. Way to trade. I'd love to see, uh, see those in the back. Uh, we'll facilitate showing off those trades a little bit specifically. But thank you for posting those in the back. Beautiful trades, beautiful trades. Uh, she's trading on fire and ice and our new indicator cap line, uh, cap line pack. Also, Leon, appreciate you posting in the back. Thank you. Uh, shout out to Scotland. Uh, shout out to Scotland. Nice trades in the back as well. Leon, all the VIP. I want to see your trades. Steve. Steve, you've been trading. Way to trade, Steve. Guys want to see your trades. Um, in terms of in terms of the details, I was going to tell you, if you don't know how, for instance, that a low to the high $10,000, yes, you can trade them legally in the United States of America. Tell you the truth, you can lose just as much, if not more, in any options on equities, just so that you guys know it's the truth, guys, in, in any equities-based uh, platform. 
You know this, huh? <laughs> I mean, just so that you know, crypto doesn't have the market cornered in terms of the ability to lose money. You could go chase equities and stocks and lose just as much, if not more, on options. I've seen it firsthand with some very important people even around me. I wasn't trading with them, but I've seen it. It happens. So in terms of the stigma against, against options, against futures, what do we always want to plug into and be aware of? The fact that, uh, yes, this would be a solution here. This near 94% that we're up right now would be nearly a 100x of a 100x uh, position. Uh, let's say 10,000 would be $1 million right now. You would not have had to invest millions of dollars to make a million dollars. Now, the important part of futures is a recovery, boom. You always, in trading, pay attention, guys, London, former hedge fund owner, private, not SEC, not financial advice, Duke University, Harvard Business School, et cetera. It's for you guys, pay attention. When you lose in the market, what's the great thing about a recovery? When you lose percentage-wise in the market, you always gain more recovering to the same spot than you lost. Do the math involved. Start with $100, okay? Lose. 10%. What's it going to take back to get back up to the $100? More than 10%. So the effect of this is that we love to structure in trades, right on, with the potential for a higher gain than loss. Okay? Wrap your mind around that while you're ordering John J. Murphy's okay, technical analysis of the futures market. Very important that you guys use that feature in terms of the authority of technical analysis of the futures market as the premier, I was going to say the setup for tonight at least. How about that? The number one bedrock solid, uh, we'll say authority for TA as it would pertain to and trading as it would pertain to futures. But you're always going to make more percentage wise than you lost. Very important concept for tonight. Hope the VIP are doing well. As we look at this rising wedge, what do you have? Backup reserve capital ready to operate at a lower level, okay? This is not the night to consider, well, I have $10,000, one, one might say, new trader. I might as well just throw it in now. Completely off base, completely off base, guys. You've got to learn. What do we do? 100 rounds. We structure in consistency in trading before you start to trade at higher levels. Absolutely. Looking at a potential return to the flat top, I'll just tell you in terms of the specific most exciting pattern that we're dealing with, I want you to understand the bump and run reversal. Understand the completion patterns. That likelihood of getting to 47,911. The potential for getting to the 65,700 and what is that, 746. Let's just measure before we take off here. That would be a Another, guys, that would be another 117%. Pay attention, 117%. And I will throw this up on this um, side screen for me to take a closer look. And yeah, indeed, 117%. So look at this. You've covered nearly 100%. Getting back from this point to the all-time high essentially is going to give you another 100%. Do you see how important it is to get it low? Do you understand Make a mental note. You may say, well, that would, it must be great because we're not low right now. Structure in. Plan for the next low move. Will the one-hour RSI hit oversold again? It will. Will the four-hourly RSI hit oversold again? It will. Will the daily on Bitcoin hit oversold again? What do you think? We said that it would. It already has based upon the history of the price action indeed. Look for that. Plan for that level of engagement with Bitcoin and always guys we welcome spot traders we welcome holders uh, to our channel we welcome you to be a part of the premier trade group if if you want to be a premier trader to the extent that that is not suited for what you want that's what we offer is the opportunity to be with the premier trade group this is London signing out from beautiful La Jolla California we'll talk to you guys soon take care bye-bye